Welcome to Creating Art with Jenny. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint a lemon. I just picked this lemon off my tree in the backyard and although it's not brightly yellow, we know that we like our lemons yellow and it actually will turn yellow in a few more days and it actually is a pretty good lemon uh, even though it doesn't look like it, but it's great for just visual purposes. So I went ahead and lightly, lightly traced this out in um, pencil. I don't really like to see a lot of pencil marks. So as I begin, I can see that, you know, there's a sheen from the light and then I have my leaves and I'm kind of looking at the shape of my leaves. So I like the fact that they're not super, you know, smooth, but they've got jagged edges. And um, you can see that they've got some yellow in there that kind of pick up off the lemon. So there is some green at the bottom. And so I'm going to add some yellow first. And so I'm going to kind of wet my lemon in the middle and then I'm going to pick up my Hansa yellow medium and I'm going to follow the outline of my pencil line that's very faint that you may or may not be able to see and you don't have to draw your lemon if you're good at freehand but I actually it helps just a little for me to get it drawn and then I can not have to worry about am I getting the shape right or whatever. So I'm leaving the middle a little bit yellow and the sides are going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to let that water sit on there for just a second and I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. I don't really like what I did right there and kind of go over my edges a little bit. So as I go up to think about my leaves um, I also want to make sure that I'm putting some water in the middle, especially on my type of water, uh, journal paper. It's not super um, heavy. It's like a 90 pound weight. And so if you are painting with a 90 pound weight, you really do need to be careful because it will dry fast and then it's not as easy to do a loose watercolor. So I'll get one leaf in here. And then I have, oh, I'm not sure I wet my leaf up here. And get a little bit more. I'm picking up, I'm using some sap green. Up, and that was more viridian. I went into the wrong color, but that's okay. And so my leaves, as they come in, I'm giving them a little bit of movement on the edges, trying not to make them super smooth. And I also want to go back in and pick up my yellow and kind of add that in there just for some variation in color. And then I can come back to my sap green and kind of allow it to bleed and move in here. So when you're painting loose, you want the movement of the water to really be your friend. And it just makes it look a little bit more realistic when you come in and do that. All right, so let me come back to my other leaf before it starts to dry too much. And remember, if you like the color that is on your leaf as is, then you probably have painted it a little bit too light. Remember, it does need to be a little bit darker than what you think it should be. All right, I'm gonna come back to my lemon. I've got my highlights right in here, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of a cad yellow orange, and I'm gonna come down and add it right here, kind of giving it some water on the side to flow and mix, to add some depth. I'm gonna let that dry again, and come back in. And I want some more yellow, a little bit on top too, to bring in some more, trying to make it look a little bit more round and a little bit more 3D. So as I come down here, I can see my water is kind of pulling and I'm gonna, going to pick it up a little bit because I don't want my water to pull really on my lemon because I'm about to add some green in here. So I picked this as kind of a ripe lemon and I do want the tip of this to be green and to let it flow in a little bit. 
So that's going to dry much lighter than you think it will. And you can also see that my paper is buckling. So sometimes it's always better to use better paper. But this is a demonstration purposes only. And I'm beginning to like how that's taking shape. And I'm going to come in and add just a little bit more of my orange, making sure that I've got some water around it to let it come out. Okay, so it's all about using your water and making sure that it's working to how you want it to be. And so I want to go back um, to my leaf, to my leaves, and I actually do want to pick up the stem. So I'm going to go right here, have it flow up and out, and make this a little bit thicker. Come in on the top. And as my leaf is starting to dry, I'm going to use a tool to create some veins in here. This is just a sharp tool. And I'm not going to add a lot. It's just a more for a suggestion. And if you let it dry too soon, then you won't um, it won't be able to put it in. But I think I, that was fine. I was able to get a few of the, a few of that in there. All right. So as you can see, um, it needs to dry a bit. And but I'm be, uh, pretty happy with the way it's coming about. I might come in and add just a little bit of burnt umber just to give it some shadow on this side. I do kind of want it to look a little bit more rounded. And it's okay to pick up that green. Kind of pick that up. So lemons are not always just slightly round. And also up at the top, if you give it a little bit of dark up here, it makes it just enough to make it look like it's realistic. All right, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to bring this down just a tidbit, and there you have it. There is how you paint a quick little lemon, and once it's dry, you could decide if you want to go a quick wash back over it if you wanted to add some more, and I'll show you the end of picture, ending picture when it is dry. My painting has now dried, and this is what it looks like when it is finished. So here is my lemon, copied from my lemon tree lemon. That actually does taste really good. All right, I hope you enjoy painting lemons. Um, you really can't go wrong with them. Just making sure you're using some lights and darks in there, and just have fun with them. Thank you for watching.